Lucky Lindy from Lucky Lindy's Liquor and Libations coming at you from my bar. So today we're going to make a Manhattan. There are so many different recipes for Manhattans. It's amazing. This is how I learned to do it and I learned how to do this in Wisconsin and it's not with brandy even though a lot of people on the internet have stuff about how Wisconsin only does Brandy Manhattans. This is going to be a uh, bourbon Manhattan. We are going to use Buffalo Trace. So if you want, we'll get started. Here we go. We are going to need ice, bourbon, martini, and Rossi. We're going to use the sweet vermouth instead of dry vermouth, which you may remember we used before in our martinis. We're going to have cherries, a jigger, and a shaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting ice in our shaker. And then we are going to whoop, we are going to go ahead and get our bourbon in here. We're going to put in two shots. I am not going to use the jigger because it's kind of difficult. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and kind of count. So you guys will remember it is an eight count. A little bit more. There we go. Then we're going to take our sweet vermouth and we're going to use the small side of the jigger and we're going to fill that guy up and put it all the way in there. Then we're going to take our cherries and we're going to just use a little tiny bit of their juice. Shake it and strain it into our glass, which I'm using a very pretty cordial that I've had around for a long time. And like I said, make sure you use your pretty things Put your cherry in. Don't forget your cherry. Cheers. Mm. 